He was born and raised in a one room home with a dirt floor, no electricity, no running water. But now this man who didn't even know how to turn on a computer as a teenager is a software engineer who has created an amazing high tech device. Tonight, Dan Rascoe takes us inside the story of the inside coach or smart ball. This is a pretty amazing story of a man who overcame his humble beginnings to live the American dream. And that dream took on a whole new adventure when Nick San Juan started teaching his daughter to play soccer. 10 year old Abby has her own personal coach. There you go. Her dad, Nick San Juan. But when dad's not there to help. Uh, we call it inside coach. Nick is hoping this little electronic yeah. device can play coach. It's kind of like having a private coach that goes inside of the ball. Here's the idea. This device would be built into any kind of sports ball, soccer, basketball, right. football, baseball, you name it. The athlete would then wear a wristband that would collect the sports data. So this would be the receiver that the player will wear, and then it will send this data to your mobile device. That data would include how hard you kick the ball. When I spin it like this, you can see it going up. How much the ball is spinning. When uh, the ball has a lot of spin, it bends, so it confuses the goalkeeper. And other kinds of stats, like how long you're practicing and what kind of skills you need to improve on. And that's the fun part about this is that it visually tells you how well are you doing, and then it motivates you. The inside coach all came about from Nick watching his own daughter's practice habits. When it comes to individual practice, she didn't enjoy that. She, she, was, she struggled with it. She didn't know what to do. It wasn't fun for her. To think that Nick came up with this little high-tech machine is pretty amazing when you look at his beginnings. So I was born in Mexico, in Oaxaca. Nick grew up in a small farming community in Mexico in this one room log home. One room, uh, we were nine kids, so it was crowded. Dirt floor? Yeah, dirt floor. Dirt floors with no electricity and no running water. This little creek was where the family bathed. We survived in, in tortillas and beans <laughs> when we had it. Nick came to America at the age of 15 to live with his brother in New York. He would later serve an LDS mission where he learned for the first time how to actually turn on a computer. Right then is when I decided I needed to learn how to use a computer. When he returned, he went to Weber State University and graduated as a software engineer, the first in his family with a college degree. Would you like some cheese? Nick is now a husband and father of two girls, working as a software engineer at a company in Draper. A young man, born and raised on a dirt floor, who couldn't even turn on a computer. You think this is really going to work? Yes, I think athletes coaches they like all is all about stats now hoping to hit it big with a high-tech coaching device that fits right into a sports ball to me it doesn't care where you're coming from your background you can change that there are a lot of opportunities you never give up on your dreams so anything is doable Nick is using the crowdfunding site Kickstarter to try and get this product up and going. The device will actually be much smaller than the prototype, and Nick is in the process of finding a sports ball manufacturer to put that device inside a ball when it's finished. If you want to check out this product on Kickstarter, you can go to our website, KUTV.com, and click on Features and Inside the Story. Back to you.